Hello, welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial that will show you how to install, connect, and configure the 2N EasyGate IP with the 2N Lift One communicator. Let's unbox the products. This is the standard, so-called generic version of the 2N EasyGate IP. The package includes the product itself, a brief manual, a power supply cable, wall plugs, screws and terminal blocks, an antenna with a 3-meter cable, a 5.5-meter FXS cable, a bracket, and a power supply adapter. Don't forget to prepare a SIM card. It's not included in the package. There are several versions of the 2N Lift One communicator. Firstly, there's the 2N Lift One compact unit, available with or without a button. Then, there's 2N Lift One TOC unit, available with or without a voice alarm station. And finally, there are four variants of the 2N Lift One COP unit. Two are PCBs designed to be connected to an external plate, panel, and or alarm button. One comes with an integrated mic, speaker, and LEDs, and the other allows you to connect your own to it. The other two are 2N Lift One COP units with metal plates intended for flush mounting, one with a button and one without. So, what's in the box? A brief manual, terminal blocks with cable ties, and the product itself. What else do you need for installation? A drill with drill bits, screwdriver bits, and screws. Let's start with installing the 2N EasyGate IP. Firstly, you always install it either in the headroom, the top of the elevator shaft, or in the machine room. The installation itself is simple. You only need to drill in two holes. Insert the wall plugs. and attach the holder to the wall. Before you fix the gateway to the holder, connect the antenna, power supply, and a two wire from the traveling cable. and insert a SIM card that supports mobile data and calling. The usual consumption for cloud services like the 2N Elevator Center is a maximum of 100 megabytes per month. Now, you're ready to insert the gateway into the holder. If there's a DIN rail in a shaft, you can easily install the 2N EasyGate IP on that as well. Now, the LED lights will display the status of the power, mobile network connection, the FXS line, data, which you need to connect the device to the 2N elevator center, and signal strength. The FXS line will light up when a call is established. Let's move to the elevator cabin and install the 2N Lift 1. You need a hole in the cabin that's approximately 80 millimeters wide and 180 millimeters high. Connect a two wire to the lift one. Then place the lift one in the hole and screw the screws. Now, let's configure devices. We'll start with the 2N EasyGate IP. As it's a plug-and-play solution, there's not actually much to configure. However, if you want to use global roaming SIM cards and VOLTE calls, it may require some additional configuration changes, which can be made by connecting the device to a PC via a USB cable using the 2N EasyGate web configuration utility or in our cloud management platform the 2N Elevator Center, which you can also use for remote monitoring. Now for the Lift 1. 
there are three ways to configure it. The first is via SMS. You simply send a message in the right format to the number of the SIM card in the 2N EasyGate IP. For example, this is the format of the SMS for configuring alarm calls. L1 defines the product, Lift 1. CNF stands for configuration. 12345 is the default service password you need to know to configure the device. Make sure you change this. Instructions are in the manual. 011 is a parameter for setting up the first number that should be called after pressing the alarm button, followed by the telephone number itself. Alternatively, you can use the 2N Lift 1 service tool software for configuration. You can also call 2N Lift 1 via EasyGate IP and program it via the voice menu. Let's make a test call. Hey, presto, it's working. That was easy, wasn't it? The entire installation and configuration in a real environment will take a mere 30 minutes. Thanks for watching.